This is a pattern that uses 10 templates of different sizes to make a 10 by 10 and a half inch block. It looks like a crazy quilt. Inside the pattern, there are step-by-step -step instructions that take you step-by-step -step on how to cut and sew the 10 templates together into the 10 and a half inch square. There's also a visual picture. The templates are alphabetically labeled and it shows the letters where the seams are connected. It has a right side and it has a back side so that you can do a mirror image. Let's see? You can do a mirror image of the block to make different designs. The templates are made of sturdy material so they're reusable and they're labeled with a D on the front and on the back they have the back so that you know which piece you're using. Also the pieces are labeled with small letters on the seams that way you know where the two pieces go together that's DE it would match to the DE. If you look carefully at these you will see that they are made to fit precisely together the AB, the AB. But they're cut so that when you line up the edges they match perfectly together and then you sew your true quarter inch seam and open them up and press them. There are lots of different patterns that you can make with these 10 templates. They all come out looking sort of like a crazy quilt block, although these are not sewn on a foundation piece and then trimmed. They are made to fit exactly together to form a perfect 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch square. Some of the patterns, you can see this picture. This is a picture of a table runner and it has some stars applicate on different pieces of the pattern. I have used three and applicate stars. It makes a nice table runner. You could do three or you could do four depending on the length of the table. You could even do five. Another you thing two, that we have done is to make a table cover and you can do that by mirror image of blocks and then rotate them because they're perfect 10 by 10 you come up with different kinds of patterns. This is one that is kind of a circle. This could be done for a tabletop, it could be done for placemats. It's be a nice centerpiece on a table. This piece is one that has and it has all of the pieces exactly the same. Each color all the C's are the same color, all the J's are the same color, all the D's are the same color, and the blocks are sewn side by side, and you get this kind of a look. This is another thing that you can do with the pattern. These are all random pieces of cloth, like a true crazy quilt. Just match the size of the template to the size of the scrap you have, and then sew them together following the directions and I used a black I used black sashing between the strips and it gives it kind of an interesting stained glass look. Because I'm going to be drawing on the back side, the wrong side of the quilting material, I'm going to use this back side image to put them together. Even though I'm working on the back side of the cloth, I'm working on the front side of the pattern because when you sew it, this will be the front side. You do not want to use those that say back side on the back side. You want to use the front side on the back side of the cloth. On your templates, it shows you where they go together because there's a single letter with the I that says it goes to an HI. And on the H, there's a corner that's the H. Those two are the sides that line up. I've cut out green pieces out of scraps using my templates and I put a letter designation on them. I've also put a pin in the side where it said 
This is the A, and this is where it joins the B, so I put a pin there so I know that's where it joins the B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my picture. I'm going to find my C, my B, and my A. And I'm going to join those together that have single letters. So C to B to A. So here's my C, and there's my pin. Here is my B, and there's my pin in this side. So that P will, B will go to this C, and then my A, and that A will go to my B. I'll take out my two pins, put my right sides together, and they should match up perfectly edge to edge. And then I will sew this seam, A to B, and on the other side, take my C, right sides together, my C, and that should match up perfectly. Yes, it does, with that side, and I pin that one together, and I will sew those two with a true quarter inch, and then I will press the seam open. Two more that have a single letter would be my D and my E. Let me find those. Here is my D. It has a pin on the edge where I pin it. And here's my E. So I'm going to put right sides together. Now I'm going to look and let's see. I have my I to H up here that joined with a single letter. So here is my I. Here is my H. I have a pin where they go together. So I'm going to turn them over, match them up, right sides together, and they should line up edge to edge perfectly. I sold all of my twos together. I ran some flags and sold them all together. I left the labels on so I wouldn't get confused. Let's go back to our picture, and we're going to now put some of the bigger pieces together. I have my ABC right here, and it says ABC is on the bottom, so I'm going to leave that on the bottom. It said in the center is my DE, and to the side of it is the J. You notice there's a long side and a short side. This J goes to the short side. And it already has its pin in it for the edge. So I'm going to pin it my J, E, D, and it looks like this. J, E, D. Now I am looking over here on the other side, and I have an H, I that I'm going to sew to this piece. Going to line that up with our E, right sides together, and it should match perfectly from edge to edge. If we got it in the right place, it should just fit. Okay, there's our piece, there's our pattern. It looks like we need to add the GF down here on this corner, and then we will add the ABC to the bottom to complete the square. We will do that now. And there you have the finished block. This one is, if you look closely, this one is the mirror image of the other. I just, this is a re mirror of this one, and by rotating them, you see how you can get the lines to line up, and you can get different geometric designs. These have great possibilities, lots and lots of fun possibilities. The crazy quilt pattern, template pattern, comes with all ten heavy-duty templates that can be reused. Uh, the two pictures that help you to place the templates. The templates are clearly marked if you want to do a mirror. There is a back and a front side, and the edges are marked so you don't get confused on which edge goes to which edge to create the design. Also, there's two pages of instructions, step-by-step -step on how to cut and how to sew the block together. All you need are your scraps to come up with some adorable, crazy quilt ideas.